We have a government that is skirting the rules that Congress passed on asylum and the treatment of children at the border. We have moms and dads who are having their infants, infants, taken away from them because they're fleeing violence. And we are scarring those children for life by taking them away and institutionalizing them. And where are the Republicans? Where are my colleagues on the other side of the aisle that are willing to stand up to their own party leadership, to their own president, as we did in order to guarantee that DACA would become the law of the land? I don't see them. I see them scared of the president's itchy Twitter finger and afraid to stand up to a bully because they're scared of losing their jobs. And I think that's shameful. And just to remind, in case anyone has forgotten, they control the White House, the Senate, and the House of Representatives. So how they place blame on others is typical of their unprofessional attitude. They never want to take responsibility. And they know this is shameful, so they're passing it on to others. They, re they control the White House, the House, and the Senate. They could accomplish anything they, they set out to do if they cared, but they don't care. For over two decades, my parents have scrubbed toilets, cleaned houses, and worked in construction in order to make a living. But regardless of the adversities that we have faced, they have always emphasized the importance of getting a college education. I stand here proud to share that I am the first in my family to graduate from college. I graduated last month from the University of Utah with a degree in information systems, despite not qualifying for financial aid due to my status. At school, I excelled academically, received scholarships, and thanks to DACA, was able to work through college.